Hey guys, Lester, and welcome back to another Minecraft mob battle here on the channel. Today, guys, we have another fan suggested fight. We have the Mutant Hoglin from the Mutant More mod facing off against the Frost Muff from Mousy's Mobs mod. You might be asking yourselves, but Austin, this isn't the fight that won the in the video. There's another fight that has at least three more likes than this one. Well, on screen right now is that fight that won, and I'm gonna really quickly play a clip for you guys just so you understand exactly what happened and why I cannot do that fight. And I did the command and, and you're supposed to be able to select the entity, but it didn't let me select the entity. So what I had to do was do the command to select everyone. Oh, we're frozen. We're frozen, wait, pause. Pause. All right, so now that we're back from that, to basically explain what happened there, uh, I used the resizing mod to resize that boss to make him smaller so he can fight in the arena. I summoned in all the things that he was supposed to be fighting, which were the Demon Slayer guys. They went in, he went to do one attack, and not only did my game crash, but it crashed so hard that it thought I was in a multiplayer server, and it kicked me from multiplayer. It literally said disconnected from multiplayer server. That's what the Minecraft message said, and I was in a single player world, but I was sent to the multiplayer screen. That's how badly I crashed. Now, I'm pretty sure that glitch had to do with uh, Lycanites. And there's something wrong with either you can't resize the like Knights mod using the other mod and it crashes or just that that mob in general can crash your game. It, either way, uh, <laughs> just for anyone suggesting that thing in the future, keep in mind there's a chance that that can happen. And you guys know there's really time a fight is not possible. I just skip that and go on to the next comment that has the second most likes in, in the video, which was this one. So we're going to be having the Hoglin fight Frostma. Let's get right into this. I'm really excited. The Hogla, Hogla blah, the mutant Hoglin has 200 health and Frostma, well, he has 250 health. So let the fight commence. And as always, if you guys have been enjoying the mob battles on the channel, be sure to smash that like button to show your support. Consider subscribing if you are new. And like always, comment down below for which fight you'd like to see next. And the most thumbs up comment, so long as it's doable, will be the one picked. And my Minecraft decided to open that menu. Love when that happens. Also, guys, I'm getting to the point... Oh, now my McAfee's opening up. What the heck? <laughs> um, I, I'm getting to the point now where my mod pack that I use... For these mob battles is so vast that and like so intensive with all these big mods that it's starting to cause some glitches in minecraft itself even though i'm in a super flat world even though my render distance down it's starting to cause lag in that glitch where you get like one frame a second every other time you log into your minecraft world so what i'm going to start doing is mods that i do not use for a long period of time i'm just going to remove them from the mod pack temporarily put them into a separate folders to have them so you guys can still suggest fights from those mods I'm just not going to have them in the main mod pack just so it doesn't cause as much lag. I'm probably going to go in after this video and do that. Um, so nothing's going to change. Just keep that in mind. If you're ever like looking at my sidebar and stuff, you're like, Austin, you don't have as many pages anymore. What happened? That, that would be why. Either way, uh, Hoglin died. So we need two Hoglins versus one Frost mod. Let's go. And this is the Hoglins debut into the uh, arena. So this is really cool. One thing I am noticing though is the Hoglin, like when he's trying just to use like his his tusks to hit, it's like sometimes not dealing damage. Like that one inside him right now, only the slam seems to be dealing damage to the Frost Maw. But this is kind of a cool fight because it's like two big um, beast type uh, entities fighting each other. Oh, he's gonna do a slam! Watch out, guys! He's gonna slam! Bam! Oh, that actually didn't kill them. The, the Hoglins. Oh, one Hoglin down. I'm just calling them Hoglin because saying mutant Hoglin's a mouthful. So it's best just to do this. Oh, oh my gosh, he won with 10 health. Good job, Frostma. Good job. But now you're going to have to fight three of them. All right, 3v1, let's go. Dude, you got to wake up. They're going to hit you. He's like, I am awake. I am destruction. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, they're smacking him up. He's like, how dare you defy me? I don't know why he has that voice, but he, he's he's giving them a run for their money. There's only one left. They're pretty close, both of them. And he this time he won with more health than last time, and he had less things to fight. Alrighty then, on to four. One, two, three, four. I didn't think it would take this many, honestly. 
but the Frostimo has always been that one mob that you don't, that you underestimate, and he just destroys the competition with, like, no issue, and you're like, why, though? He's not using his ice attacks that much, though, probably because they're close-ranged entities. But he's having trouble now. They're overwhelming him with, with numbers. Oh, he's going to do the slam, though. Boom! Yeah, he's down. I don't think he killed a single one of them. They all got low, though, but... Oh! Why did you just hit your team? <laughs> did you guys see that? It ended and this one did another attack and it killed his two allies. Well, I guess that answers that question. They can hurt each other. But, I mean, actually, that doesn't make sense because this mod isn't the same as the Mutant Creatures mod or the Mutant Beast mod. So, they probably aren't programmed to be immune to each other's attacks like that other mod has. So, yeah, they can probably hit each other. Anyway, on to the next round. So, that's four versus th two. Let's go. I mean, they're definitely not going to beat two of them. Yeah, that slam hurts. That slam's hurting is their allies as well. It's like an AoE, but it's hitting everyone. You can even see it hit, do the ground move. Like, it gives you the radius of it. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it's unfortunate they can hurt their own teammates. This mod has not evolved to, to the point where, uh... Oh, that's why! My particles! I was like... Why is it not showing this stuff? That's why I didn't have my particles all the way up. That's why I couldn't actually see the frost moves anymore. I'm sorry about that, guys. I've been having that turned off because uh, the massive fights I've been doing with the Demon Slayer mod has been lagging a lot. So that was helping. But since this isn't Demon Slayer fight, I don't really need to do that. All right. Versus two. Let's go. Also, there's another mod I added recently that's adding this blood effect. I don't know what mod that is, but I don't really like that. If someone knows how to turn that blood effect off, let me know. Or if you even know what mod it's from. Because it's just kind of stupid to see every mob have blood coming off them. Which is also probably why there's lag recently. Again, I don't know which mod did it, but some mod did that recently. I was going to do a slam. Boom! Wait. Oh my gosh, everything died but one hoglin. Good job, Hoglin. You did it. All right, next round. One, two, three, four, five versus one, two, three. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that one went flying. <laughs> and that was his teammate, I think, that made him go flying. I'm not sure. This is crazy. I do like that all of these new mutants have, like, the same amount of, like, diverse abilities as the old mutants did, so it's not like they have a one note. Like, it's not like they only play one note, you know what I mean? It's cool. I always like mobs that can have multiple attacks. Like, a Frost mob's like that as well. He can do multiple things. That's what makes them entertaining in fights like this. Because it's best than just seeing two mobs just smack each other, you know what I mean? I think that's why people like the Demon Slayer fights so much, is because there's so much diversity in the movesets. Um, the only problem is it, it gets overused a lot. I will admit that, that like 90% of my mob battles in the past few months have been Demon Slayer. <laughs> With the exception of the one or two Jujutsu Kaisen. But yeah. Again, if you, got, you guys are the ones voting for it, so clearly you like it. But I do agree, it can get overused. Did you just hurt your teammate? Bruh. <laughs> You did the same thing the Hoglins did earlier, but they won again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Versus one, two, three. Let's go. And I, al I always mention this occasionally, but for people suggesting fights, never discourage someone else's comment. If you know for a fact a fight is not doable, then sure, tell them. Be like, hey, you might want to change your suggestion. But... Um, if, if you think a fight is imbalanced, don't comment on someone else's suggestion and be like, don't do this fight, it's good, it's such an obvious loss for this guy. Like, the whole point of doing these fights is to show that stuff off on the field. And perhaps that person's never seen the mobs before and they just want to add, oh my god, the three of them just did a, <laughs> they just did a triple slam on him. That was disgusting. You guys are like wrestlers, jeez. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, and then one, two, three. But you guys know what I mean. You, you guys have been all pretty civilized in the comments. You, you get me. But for just for the new viewers, because I do get a lot of new viewers watching this for the first time, and they're like, "What do you mean? Suggest comments? What does that even entail?" You know what I mean? Uh, but you guys have been helpful and stuff. Anytime you see a new person commenting, be like, "Hey, you might want to specify a bit," or "Hey, that doesn't even make sense." <laughs> 
But at the end, we're all just trying to have fun and, and show off these fights. Also, I've had a, I've had a few people on that topic of new commenters. I've had a few people recently be like, Austin, this are well, they they don't even know my name. They're they're just like. They're just like, wow, this is so similar to YouTubers of the past that used to do stuff like this. That's so cool. And then you get the occasional person that's like, wow, you copied this arena from someone else. Bruh, I don't know whoever's been with my channel for three years plus or not, but you will know that I literally built this arena from scratch. My very first video featuring this arena, I stood here and I think built it on camera. I forget exactly what. I just remember it used to be a platform. It, was, it had no walls or anything. It was just a straight platform. And if you watch those original videos, shout outs to you. You're a real OG. But yeah, I literally built this arena by, by scratch. The only thing that I took inspiration from is, is the, um, like the, the distance between like the walls and stuff, like the, the size. I did look up videos and I did look at other people's mob battle arenas from like 2012 and stuff for the people that did them. I did take inspiration from that, but most of this was like my own design. And as you guys know, it has evolved over the years. It didn't used to look like this at all. At this point, it's like 90% my own design. The only thing that someone else's design would probably be the, uh, like I said, the dimensions of it. You know what I mean? But at the, at the end of the day, it's an arena. You can't really not copy an arena if you're building an arena, you know? Anyway, uh, let's move on to the semifinal round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Versus one, two, three. Let's go. I just want to see if three can take on ten. And then we'll do the final round. Which will be fun. Be real fun. Also, by me removing some mods that people don't really suggest anymore, uh, it, it takes away some of these weird effects and stuff that, that is kind of plaguing the arena. You know what I mean? Obviously, I won't remove mods like Demon Slayer, the Mutant mods, and stuff like that, because those are always suggested. But like I said, like I'm going to look through it later, and any mod that I see that has not been suggested in like over a month or two, I'm just going to temporarily move it over. And of course, if you guys suggest it again, I will gladly re-add it. It's not like I'm like, I'm never adding this back. It's just to sort of save up on resources when I'm never touching the mods to begin with. Also, this is a pretty close fight. What the heck? It's over. The Hoglin won with seven health. Holy crap, these guys are actually really close um, in power scaling whenever they're numbers like this. Anyway, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 Hoglins versus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let the final round commence. If you guys haven't done so already, smash the like button. And let's let's just let's just see how this plays out. I'm rooting for you guys. Also, um, for people that are always commenting and stuff, if you ever think a fight might be very resource intensive on Minecraft, like if you think there's a chance of it crashing or a chance of like there being too many things going on, always just add like a parentheses and be like, hey, you might want to turn your particles off for this or hey, you might want to shorten your render distance for this one and stuff like that. Just to just to like give me, if it's a fight I've never done before in a mob I'm not familiar with, um, the Hoglin won again. Very close though too. But uh, yeah, if you ever think there's something to be too resource intensive, just let me know in advance if you think so. Obviously, a fight like this, it wasn't. But you know, you know what I'm talking about. For those that have been watching my fights recently, you know what I'm talking about. Either way, that's gonna do it for this mob. I apologize to the guy whose fight actually won in the in the pick, but it couldn't be featured because you guys saw the video at the beginning of the clip. Y you know, you know what happened. But either way. If you guys did enjoy, smash the like button, show support, consider subscribing if you are new. Comment down below which fight you like. The next most thumbs up comment will be the one I picked. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Stay safe. Goodbye.